and Transantiphon. Let us rejoice and be glad and give glory to God, for the Lord our God, the Almighty, reigns. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, today's Holy Eucharist is offered for the soul of Joseph Zakrebski and for the soul of Ross Gagliardi. When we will be listening today's uh, uh, Jesus' words in the first uh, reading and the Gospel, in this moment, probably you will be a little confused about the situation with the disciples. And also, maybe uh, this first reading, when we'll be uh, listening about uh, what is happened again situation, another situation with St. Paul, who is coming to the town, and the people in this town, uh, they try first uh, put him to the prison, they beat him, and uh, uh, but it's al also the second part of this reading when uh, a lot of people is uh, changing. But they are not changing because uh, St. Paul did something, but because Jesus was working by him. And I think that during this situation, uh, in today's world, this is a good thing and a good moment to ask Jesus, especially during uh, uh, today's Holy Eucharist, that Jesus, please, make us uh, deaf for our expectations and our wills. Make us deaf and open us that we'll be just listening, your preaching, your preaching of love and peace. That's it. And at this moment, first we, and after that, a lot of people around us will be changing, not because of us, because of Jesus' love. And right now, at the beginning of this Holy Eucharist, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant Almighty and merciful God that we may in true receive a share in the resurrection of Christ your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The crowd in Philippi joined in the attack on Paul and Silas, and the magistrates had them stripped and ordered them to be beaten with rods. After inflicting many blows on them, they threw them into prison and instructed the jailer to guard them securely. When he received these instructions, he put them in the innermost cell and secured their feet to stakes. About midnight, while Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God as the prisoners listened, there was suddenly such a severe earthquake that the foundations of the jail shook. All the doors flew open and the chains of all were pulled loose. When the jailer woke up and saw the prison doors wide open, he drew his sword and was about to kill himself, thinking that the prisoners had escaped. But Paul shouted out in a loud voice, do no harm to yourself, we are all here. He asked for a light and rushed in, and trembling with fear, he fell down before Paul and Silas. Then he brought them out and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? And they said, Believe in the Lord Jesus, and you and your household will be saved. So they spoke the word of the Lord to him and to everyone in his house. He took them in at that hour of the night and bathed their wounds. Then he and all his family were baptized at once. He brought them up into his house and provided a meal and with his household rejoiced at having come to faith in God. 
the word of the Lord. Be to God. Responsible Psalm. Your right hand saves me, O Lord. Your right hand saves me, O Lord. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with all my heart. For you have heard the wound words of my mouth. In the presence of the angels, I will sing your praise. I will worship your, at your holy temple and give thanks to your name. Your right hand saves me, O Lord. Because of your kindness and your truth, you have made great above all things your name and your promise. When I called you, you answered me. You built up strength within me. Your right hand saves me, O Lord. Your right hand saves me. The Lord will complete what he has done for me. Your kindness, O Lord, endures forever. Forsake not the work of your hands. Your right hand saves me, O Lord. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. I will send to you the Spirit of truth, says the Lord. He will guide you to all truth. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, now I am going to the one who sent me, and not one of you ask me, where are you going? But because I told you this, grief has filled your hearts. But I tell you the truth, it is better for you that I go, for if I do not go, the advocate will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you, and when he comes, he will convict the world in regard to sin and righteousness and condemnation. Sin because they do not believe in me. Righteousness because I am going to the Father and you will no longer see me. Condemnation because the ruler of this world has been condemned. The Gospel of the Lord. Thanks. My brothers and sisters in Christ, the hearts of the apostles were conflicted. They were filled with grief, but they, also, they, but they were also trying to trust what Jesus said to them. Jesus told them he was ascending to his father and that it was better for them that he go. Why? Because if he goes, he will send the Holy Spirit to them. On the human level, it would, be, it would have been quite hard for the apostles to let go of their daily interactions with Jesus. They certainly missed seeing him with their eyes, touching him and hearing him. But Jesus made it clear that even though he was living, he would be with them always. And he would also send the Holy Spirit upon them to lead them, give them courage, and teach them all true. They would now, by his presence in the world, by the power of the Holy Spirit. We have, uh, we have, we never had the privilege of seeing Jesus in the way the apostles did. But we do 
have the same privilege of him being with us always. And we have the same privilege of receiving the fullness of the Holy Spirit. It is good. It is very good. But it is a good that we often miss. We may have been conf confirmed, but we may also still fail to let the Holy Spirit in and transform our lives. In less than two weeks, we will be celebrating the solemnity of the Pentecost. This is the annual celebration of the fulfillment of the promise of Jesus. On that day, we commemorated the fact that the Holy Spirit has come and that we are now in the time of the Holy Spirit. So during these next two days, please be ready for that and don't miss that in your life. Amen. Confident that God knows our every need, let us bring our prayers to him. For our Holy Father, may the Lord grant him continued strength and grace in his ministry, we pray to the Lord. Lord our prayer. For all in government or civic leadership positions, may the Holy Spirit foster in them the values of respect, fairness, and dignity, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those whose lives have been affected by violence, may Christ, the divine physician, bring them comfort and healing, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those gathered here who were initiated into the church, at, who will be introduced to the church, uh, may the spirit of truth continue to help them grow in faith and loving service, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the end of this pandemic, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, especially those that have died because of the coronavirus, may they rest in God, the source of everlasting peace, joy, and love, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the prayers and intentions that we place in our prayer book, and for all the prayers and intentions that we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, internal source of all being, Hear the prayers that your people bring before you on behalf of our brothers and sisters, through Christ our Lord. Blessed the Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed the Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed. 
Great brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find a delight in this Paschal Mysteries, so that the renew and constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to let you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of all to fulfillment in the reality of the cross. And by commanding himself to you for our salvation, show himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, Every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the ascending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and internal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us forth to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, all we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ.
through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and for by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into the temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but of the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. With your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Brothers and sisters, please be seated for the one second because uh, usually uh, uh, is, uh, is few uh, announcement and information. So first, when we always, every day, we are starting uh, the, um, the service of the Holy Communion, please, every mask down. Okay, in this moment is no uh, any difficult trouble and you know, situations like this that someone is confused what I have to do this right now if I have Jesus on my hand, okay? So we start the communion, every mask is down, okay? A second, um, you know, we have a, a great uh, uh, staff here and especially our, right now our uh, maintenance, uh, uh, Chris and Clara, and they are cleaning the church every day. And you know, please uh, remember that if you are bringing something to the church, please take this stuff with yourself when you are leaving. Because yesterday was something like that. A lot of uh, used, uh, um, no, 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 no. Uh, wipes. wipes, okay. I was a few books, okay. Right now we cannot, we cannot keep anything in the office. Everything is buried every day. So if you uh, live uh, here, if, if you left in the church, for example, you uh, a prayer book, this book will be buried, okay? We cannot keep anything in the church, okay? So if you are bringing something, please take this with yourself when you are leaving, okay? And uh, please, this is uh, very, very important right now. They are so busy and we have to try to do everything what we, uh, what we can, like the one family. So please don't make them busy more, okay? And uh, on Tuesday, always like today, is the exposition of the Blessed Sacrament until something like the 11.45, because noon we will be closing the church. Uh, so. Uh, today will be a little different because we, we, uh, we finish the Holy Eucharist by the final blessing will be the communion for these people who are requesting on the end and uh, after that uh, we will be uh, uh, making the exposition of the Blessed Sacrament. You know, in today's readings, um, I don't know why, uh, but so touch me, Jesus, uh, by the first and second reading. Look for the first reading. Paul was not afraid. He trusted Jesus. It doesn't matter that he was beating, that, that they put him to the prison. He trusted Jesus. And because he trusted just only Jesus, Jesus made a lot of beautiful things by him. And a lot of people change because he trusted just Jesus. In the, in the gospel, the disciples are so confused that Jesus will be leaving them and, and he is saying that he will be come back to, the, to his father. And maybe this, by these two readings, right now especially, when we are during uh, this next few days uh, on the way of our preparation, first before the solemnity of the ascension, second uh, for the Pentecost, maybe this is a good moment that I have to do something like this. Okay, let this go. My expectations, my dreamings, my thinkings, my ideas, let this go. And just welcome Jesus' will, Jesus' love, and Jesus' peace. Let us pray. Hear, O oh Lord, our prayers that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and assure for us internal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. Bow your head for the blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. O God, protector of all who hope in you, bless your people, keep them safe, defend them, prepare them, that free from sin and safe from the enemy, they may persevere always in your love through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Saint Michael the Archangel. May God rebuke him with humble prayer and with all those who have heavenly hosts by the God of God.
Regin hatszeli, a letárhe, alleluja. Fia, femmer, hogy iszti portáve, alleluja. Rászó regszét, önszékod dékszét, alleluja. A rápróda bizteum, Hallelujah. Thank you so much and blessed day for everyone.